Hi Camilla, how you doing today? Doing great, thank you. And for those who don't know who you are, I will just introduce yourself. My name is Camila Kovalka and it's spelled K-A-M-I-L-A, K-O-W-A-L-K-E, and I'm an abstract artist. Okay. And give me a little background on your art. So um my art is abstract art. I'm originally from Poland. I have been in the United States for many years, but I grew up in communist Poland, mm -hmm. where you know beauty had to be found in different places um, because of the economic and political situation there. So um, when before I became full-time artist, I had a career here in the United States and. Uh, information technology and investments and I was um, living you know great life but very stressed and uh, one of my mentors suggested that I go back to painting which was something that I liked as, um, as a young adult and uh, painting brought me a lot of beauty joy and also um, relaxation and, and um, just peace and calm and I realized that it also is um, bringing through the energy of the artwork the same type of energy um, to people who view the art and that's what I like you know, sharing to my art. Um, bring that energy to people, bring the energy of peace, calm, joy and love uh, because many people I think um, need those types of feelings um, you know, in their daily lives. Okay. So basically that is that inspires your creativity and, and motivates you to, to create all at the same time. Yeah, I'm really inspired by the whole idea of um, energy and um, energy, you know, being intangible, energy of the artist being then transformed into a tangible object, which is the painting, that then in turn influences people and their energy and their lives. Um, hopefully, you know, making them better, more enjoyable, peaceful, whatever positive emotion um, may be, you know, something that they need in their life. Great. Uh, what's your strongest influence in your work? I think uh, the, the idea of creativity. Um, abstracts are a unique creation by themselves. It's not um, creating something or, or reproducing life, right? When you have portraits, you reproduce a person. You try to create a painting of the person. Whenever you paint something realistic, you recreate something that already exists. So with abstract, they come out of nowhere, from the energy of nowhere. And that's what really is so interesting to me because all the creations of life, either art or you know any any technology, you know, different devices that we have, TVs, telephones, they come out of nowhere, essentially. And uh, they are ideas uh, that somebody had and they created them and put them in place and, and then they then influence people. So that's, that's the biggest um, sort of thing that influences me along with human mind and the potential of human mind and what we as humans can do and how we create our life, whether it's beautiful life joyful and peaceful or life of stress or despair or other feelings that may, we may encounter so that that's something that's really interesting to me and that inspires my work okay now getting towards that end how do you define success as an as an artist success as an artist to me is being able to touch people with my art um, when they buy my art they buy it because they like it and because they either like the color I'm, I'm also highly influenced by color and love color vibrancy life and when people buy my art um, that art resonates with them the image you know and, and maybe some emotions that it stares in them or maybe memories usually uh, they tell me it's something good it brings them joy um, so to me that that defines success you know people wanting my art because it, it helps them have more beautiful and better life okay. has your style changed throughout the years um, yes, you know, I've always done abstracts. Every now and then I do something figurative 
just for fun, maybe once a year, but I um, started just doing um, work with um, palette knives and brushes, and I migrated to doing pores, uh, acrylic pores, and also working with resin art. Wow. That's great. That's a great transition for you too, though. It is. It's uh, more fun and again, kind of more unexpected and working with the creative energy uh, where we sometimes can direct it, but uh, with, I think, pores, there's an element of unknown and uncertainty, no matter how good you are. So that really is, is kind of exciting because every time it's there's always something unexpected and it makes it interesting. I can tell you really enjoy it. I really do. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Now, from a business standpoint, how do you seek out opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? So I sell my work mostly online, but um, a few times a year I do exhibits and I um, do maybe a couple of shows. And I also seek opportunities to get involved into uh, different things that are happening within the community. So for example, earlier this year, I did some work with the City of Hope that was opening a new cancer center treatment in Orange County, California. And that, um, was allowing me to bring my art um, to the exhibit at the hospital where mm. patients can see it and can influence, you know, maybe tiny, small influence um, uh, on their life because they're going through a very hard time in their life, obviously, because um, of, of the situation that they are in. And um, my art, hopefully, just being in the center on exhibit can maybe make the place a little bit warmer and maybe can make their time there a little bit better and help them heal because art is medicine for the soul. Um, so things like that are very much of interest to me and, and being able to touch people with my art so that can help them to uplift them, uh, have more joyful life, more fulfilling life, happy life. That's great. I'm glad you're doing that. Um, do you have a connection with Ontario or the, or the surrounding area? So I live in Orange County. So other than having been to Ontario a couple of times to go to the airport, I did not have any connection really prior. Mm -hmm. And that, would really, uh, that is what was interesting to me because I wanted to check out what the art community here is doing. Um, it was a um, great experience just to see uh, you know, that you have beautiful museums and so many people within the city mm -hmm. are so involved. Uh, so many people from the city, uh, city government stopped by mm -hmm. and they volunteer and participated because they want to bring more art to this community. Yes. Yeah, it is, it is a great festival. And leads me to my last question. What did you enjoy most about participating in Ontario's Festival of the Art? So, because, you know, it was my first time at this festival, I really enjoyed meeting the people who organized it, meeting the people who came mm -hmm. uh, to the show, and also people who participated, other artists. And it was amazing to see what a warm atmosphere the city created and, and the organizer of this festival, festival created, having... Um, volunteers to help artists uh, set up, be there to help us, you know, with the boots and just being so welcoming. And it was really, really nice to see. Everything was so well organized. And um, uh, as somebody mentioned, you have great bands, so it really has a very nice, mm -hmm. stylish vibe without being overwhelming. Um, so it's been, it's been a very good experience. Okay. I really appreciate you saying that. And first of all, I want to say thank you for allowing me to take the time to speak with you today. And I love your work. I've seen it. So I'm going to go back and check out some more. And I hope to see you again next year. Thank you. Thanks for having me here and uh, enjoy talking to you. And once, once again, for the audience, what is your name? Kamila Kowalka. And how do you spell that? K-A-M-I-L-A-K-O-W-A-L-K-E. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.